Welcome to Toffee TV. I am delighted to say I am sat next to an Everton legend, the man that won tight league titles, FA Cup, Charity Shields, European Cup Winners Cup, scored goals for fun, created goals for fun. <laughs> oh, if only it did happen for you younger viewers, it did happen. Mm -hmm. It did happen. I'm joined by Trevor Stephen and the studio. Thanks for taking the time. I'm delighted to be with you. Um, just want to ask you about, obviously, the ongoing stuff right now mm -hmm. <laughs> that Everton are facing. Um, mm -hmm. There's obviously a lot of uncertainty over the ownership and we're waiting. Who knows when we'll find out whether that happens. But the 10 points thing it mm -hmm. has really put us all in a very nervous mm -hmm. state. You were at Goodison the other day yeah. to watch yeah. the Palace game and you can't feel that edginess and it mm -hmm. was thought it was quite flat the other night at Goodison. I think people are beaten down. But, I mean, how do you think you the coped as a player with that, that 10 points taken off and dropping into kind of that relegation zone? I, I don't know, to be, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Mm. Um, it's, it's kind of affecting us now where it didn't affect us immediately. You know, when it was mm. fresh. Yeah. Right? We, we had some momentum. Mm. At that point, and we, and we, we clawed those points back, didn't yeah, we? Literally. Yeah, yeah. But it's a long old season, and form comes and goes, and and, and we've just hit that that tricky period where the confidence levels have gone down, mm. and we just need one win to to. I think if we get a win, it'll stable uh, stabilize everything. Right. Yeah. Um. But you, you can't wish for it. You got to earn it. Mm. Uh, and and we didn't earn it. On Monday night, no, we no. we struggled, literally from the first the first whistle, um, which was disappointing. But I could see where it was. I mean, it's just just a lack of confidence in, mm. in the group, and uh, you know they didn't go out. Sean Dyche would have sent the players out, thinking that they've got it. But you can never quite tell until until um, you get out there and the ref blows the whistle, mm. and it, it wasn't it wasn't a great watch, was it? No, it was it was very poor. It was very poor yeah. and very frustrating. I think mm. Everton did have enough chances to win it, but it just wasn't that intensity. I mean, you, you know, when you first come into our side, we yeah. were we were we were no, we were struggling had, uh, a little bit, weren't we? Well, it's good. It's a difficult did. place to play at times. Uh, as a yeah, player, it, it can be absolutely the best, or it can be you know pretty well down the bottom <laughs> as well. You know, yeah, like. yeah. Um, and the expectation levels of, of Evertonians. Is always high and rightly so. Mm. You know, you've got to reach for the stars, haven't you? you you've, you've got to, that's why we play the game as well. Yeah. Um, but it was an uncomfortable ride when I first joined back in 1983, summer of '83, mm. and uh, we couldn't find form and we struggled. And I came out of the team for a considerable period and then got back in. Mm. But you just got to grind it out. And and this is why Sean Dyche is the right man and the right job mm. uh, at the right time. Yeah. But he, he really is. Mm. Uh, we have to stick to what we do well. Sometimes we're going to let ourselves down. We did, did that on Monday night, I think. Mm. Um, and just go and try and shut out all the noise. And I yeah. think that's, again, that's been a bit of a problem. It, how long has it been in the news? Oh, we're going to hear tomorrow or the next yeah. couple of days. It should be by this week. Oh, it's going into next week about this 10 points yeah. thing. That is having, a, having an effect, although I'm sure Sean is saying just block it out. Difficult as players. Mm -hmm. um, but we just need to get that level of performance back. Yeah, uh, That's uh, solidity. And um, I'm, I'm sure we'll be fine. But, you know, it's, it's nerve wracking, I'll be mm -hmm. honest with you. <laughs> I, I went down to have a look at um, the showroom about, on the new stadium yeah. uh, yesterday. Uh, and even that in itself is a pressure. On these current players, yeah, because you don't want to be the ones who are not going to deliver this club into that stadium, yeah. When uh, we have to move from Goodison, mm. all sorts of things in, in, in the players' minds at the moment, I would think. It, it, do you find it crazy that there doesn't seem to be a set date though to hear for this? Because obviously, I know processes take time, yeah. but well, like you've just said, I'm, it's we keep hearing. Oh, I, I'm, guessing, I'm, gu I'm guessing, I'm guessing, anybody else, yeah. but it, it's. It's always in your thoughts, isn't it? Mm. it? It's always there. You know, when is it going to be? I keep checking um, on on my phone or whatever, because yeah. they said it's going to be you know, tomorrow or, or the next day, and you, and you just check and you wait for it to bounce up just on your wait. phone, yeah. or get a call from someone. What's your, what's you know, your what's yeah. your thoughts on on this? And that? I've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and it, it's uncomfortable. Mm. It really is, and it's not fair. No, it's not fair. It no. does have a knock-on effect, um, but what, what will be will be. Mm. Uh, 
and I can't second guess. I, I really can't. None yeah. of us can. No. Uh, you were just talking there about obviously Goodison can be difficult and, and mm. it can be amazing as well. And yeah. I just think, Sean, like we've won three home games all season and mm. that's, you know, worth next time we take the pitch, it's March, which is a, which is just not good enough for Everton Football yeah. Club. Yeah. Home form, you look at the games we've got, we've got six home games left, one's the derby, so that one can mm. take care of itself. Yeah. But the yeah. other five are winnable for Everton. Mm. We're going to have to utilise Goodison in a way that we didn't no, on of Monday, we aren't we? Because otherwise, that normally keeps teams away from any danger, doesn't it? The home form and Everton, three wins in mm. 13 this season, just yeah. not good enough, No, no it? it's, not, it's not good enough. It's not what you want. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> going to be really boring here, right? Mm. You can only deal with the next game. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Home or away. Mm. Doesn't matter. They've got a, a, three points there to win. Yeah. And don't look beyond that. Don't look honestly. It's not worth it. Mm. I know the fans have to. Yeah. You know, and and they're plotting down how many points we might actually get. Yeah. What, yeah. what they might get, and then how many uh, points will we get back in from the yeah, deduction? Yeah. Just we need to take care of ourselves. Take care of care of the next game. Take care of business. And uh, and the fans have got to stick with the club. Yeah. And not look too far down the the line. Just deal with the next game. Um, that's when we're going to get. Uh, as much energy behind the team as we can because yeah. we, we need that and I felt at yeah. times we were we were we were running around not for, for no purpose sometimes I thought in the game mm -hmm. on, on Monday night yeah. means the heads have gone a bit yeah, you know, yeah. We, we need to get back to uh, being collective and that means with the with the crowd as well yeah so you know I'm, I'm still confident we're going to stay up right I, yeah. I, I really am confident yeah you know no matter what happens Right. Points okay. wise, and that's how you need to think about it. Yeah. Forget about points back, points away, whatever it is. Just go and win the win the next games. Absolutely. Sounds sounds easier. Like I'm just saying it. Uh, it's a, it's an almighty effort, but we're mm. capable of that. Yeah. But you've been there, done that. Yeah. I mean, you just mentioned Goodison Park. Mm -hmm. How much are you going to miss it when we go? Because obviously you had some, some great days and nights yeah. there. You know, you're Bayern Munich, one of the, mm. probably the best game I've ever been to in my life. Yeah. You know, for memories and noise and everything. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be difficult. Of course it is. It, isn't it? Of, co of course it is. And honestly, there are people um, in those stands that have been watching there for forty years, mm. uh, and I was I was at Everton for six years, mm. and had the thrill of playing inside the white lines, which was which was amazing. But um, you know, we have to move on, and it, it's uh, it has stood the test of time because if you ask any pro professional players, mm. one of or if not the favourite ground to play away at is Goodison Park because it mm. is special. It's just got something that you can't bottle. Right, yeah. And that is you know, what I will remember. Uh, I'll obviously remember, you know, the, the Gladys Street to me has always been the, the, the thing. Mm. All right? you know, I've, I've scored the Bayern Munich goal in front of the Gladys Street. Yeah. Uh, and the power that that place has. Mm. Hopefully that can be recreated in the new stadium and, and it might take a little bit of a, a while to do so mm. but just a fantastic uh, experience to play in that ground um, and I'm glad I had the privilege to do so and then just leading on to that you've obviously been and had a mm. look at, at the new stadium yep I mean what does that look like to you I mean it uh, looks like it's going to be incredible doesn't it yeah I'm, I'm so delighted we didn't build in other parts of the city do you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah looking yeah. back at it now yeah and definitely. we've ended up with this amazing building mm. um it, it's iconic before it even is opened yeah, and yeah. It, it's going to bring alive that part of of liverpool as well mm. and it'll be it'll be fantastic it'll be great yeah. and I, I think we'll settle into it pretty quick but you know the pressure's on to stay in the Premier League and uh, I said earlier that that is a pressure in itself on the players mm. but we are going to have a stadium that is like no other for mm. sure mm. The, the setting of it is you know you can have a really creative mind about what you can do with that as a yeah. venue as well so yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward but you know for the moment let's enjoy Goodison Park whilst we've got it yeah definitely and just tell us quickly about what you, you're doing now um, yeah, um, I'm never good at being quick on this subject. <laughs> no, no, you don't you know, have to be quick. I'll, 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 I don't want to you keep know, you any longer. I'll, 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 you. I'll yeah, tell yeah. you what it is. Yeah, um, a friend of mine has a, a very big company mm -hmm. uh, called Causeway Technologies, digital okay. technology into construction. Yeah, he also helped 
bring uh, Everton Howard's way to life, the, life the movie. Yeah, yeah, tremendous. Guy called Phil Brown comes from L4, massive Evertonian. I happen to be his favourite player back in the day. <laughs> and we are exactly the same age as 60, both of us 60 this, this year. Um, and Phil asked me if I would get involved in, in a, uh, a mental health campaign that okay. focuses on the suicide rates in construction. Right. And so I, I was living over in, in, in Dubai at the time when mm. he contacted me and I, I came back to take up this role. And between us, we are trying to bring construction, mental health and football into a triage of things. Right. And probably add a, add a, a fourth uh, part to that, which is government. Yeah. Um, and we're trying to find ways of how we can stop this ridiculous suicide rate and increasing. It's sitting at 600 uh, roughly last year. Uh, which is a huge number yeah. of people within that industry are taking their own lives. So we're working on a campaign to get that, you know, to, to help that uh, drive to bring those numbers down, make mental health and construction look completely different from where it is at the moment because it is a crisis at this this moment in time. And the, the draw towards football is because there are so many construction workers who work uh, in the industry but are football fans. Yeah, in their DNA, you've got, You've got their local team, whoever that may be. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing. I'm working on a campaign. Um, Frank McKenna from Downtown and Business has helped me. Yeah. You know, a, a well-known face uh, mm -hmm. in, in this part of the mm -hmm. world and beyond. So he's getting me into the political areas where we can try and make those um, changes to procurement frameworks in, in local council, and yeah. uh, local government, and also further down the field uh, into government itself, where. Brilliant. A, there is a, a, comp a compulsion, an obligation mm. that construction companies have to support people and their mental health, you know, Absolutely. on site. So Absolutely. that is my campaign at this moment in time. Um, I, I don't know if I can just mention at this stage Everyone. that uh, if anyone watching this could, mm. who's in the construction industry in mm. any shape or form, mm. please go to causeway.com where we have a pledge of support. Okay. Uh, on that front page, it said, take the pledge here. Just press on that, it'll take you 30 seconds to do it and okay. just submit. And it's just put your name in, put your, your company in, yeah. uh, potentially, just show that support um, by pressing that submit button. I'll use that pledge, and Frank will help me to do it, to make some kind of power to our elbow, to, con to convince and continue to convince a government that change has to be made and has to be made now. But uh, as I said, if anyone who would like to support me on that, yeah. go to causeway.com, press on the pledge, and um, I will you know, gratefully receive that submission. Fantastic. We'll put that in the description as well, so that it's I easy, appreciate it. it's easy for people to go. I'm going to let you go, but thank you very much for your time, and hopefully next time we speak, things will look a lot healthier. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to come on inside the game, I believe. Yeah, I'm I'd hoping. love to come down and, and uh, let's get all the stories let's and all the tales out. out you let's know, but everything. that's for another day. Absolutely, but uh, good luck with the, uh, the campaign you. as appreciate well. Thanks very much for your time. Trevor, make sure you click on the link, like Trevor's just said, if you're in that, the link will be below in the description, so give that a little click and get pledging to Trevor's campaign. Thanks very much for watching, and see you later.